Hey, what is up, guys? It is Zaris HD, and welcome back to another Let's Build. Today's Let's Build is a townhouse with six apartments and a nice little stairwell leading up. I thought this would be pretty cool if you're going to build like a modern town sort of thing. And uh, yeah, so this is what we're going to build. It looks pretty neat and snazzy. Let's get started. So what you want to do is grab your blocks of snow, quartz blocks, black glass, blocks of ice. You want to also grab some dark wood planks. I think that's what we'll get started on. Uh, we also need some quartz stairs and you can grab some carpet as well. I think we'll get started on that. Let's go. So over here, I've already put out the stencil. You're looking at 14 blocks of snow to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Up is 37, and back is 29. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, so we've got 14 at the front, 29 thickness, and 37 in height. Now, I'm going to not dick around by putting every individual block. However, I am going to do a bit of world edit so we can speed this uh, tutorial up. So right to the top here, 37 in height. Set that as 80. Beautiful. And we'll do the same again on all sides. So we'll do that here. Beautiful. And we'll go all the way up to the top. Just to grab our point. And back down again. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is looking forward to this new Let's Build. I've got some big stuff coming, guys. I can let you know now that uh, I will be doing a build with Jesse, he's another YouTuber, so I'll be doing a build with him. I've got a build coming, a dual build with McStride from the Dagger Craft server. We'll be doing one with him, Lord, uh, Lord Dagger. Just a Wish, I'll be doing uh, one with Just a Wish and uh, probably Lord Dagger later on down the track when he's not all that busy. So, now that we've got that set out, what we can do is grab our quartz block and place one quartz line of blocks behind the snow at the front here. Okay. Then what we'll do is come in by three snow. One, two, three. And we'll just close that off. Lovely jubbly. Fill that all the way in. And this is just going to be like the front patio that you come and sit down and overlook everything like that. Okay. So from this point, I'm going to grab your ice. And on the third block in count seven so what do we got one two three four five six and seven just like that okay now with your dark oak wood planks you want to come in from the ice to the third block and come back by one so that's where you got to put it just so you got a little walkway to get in okay and then just run them back one two three four five i'm just going to double check that to make sure it is five I'm going to come in here real quickly. One, two, three, four, and five. We are beautifully incorrect there. Done. Lovely jubbly. Okay. Next step is with your glass panes, and you want to put them on the actual quartz blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, because that wants to be connected on the corner. And then you can just run your carpet directly on top. I can get my oh, that's snow. All right, so we'll grab some carpet instead. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you see, we've got the basis of what we have to do all the way up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this one and this. I'm going to grab my block code, five, five. Okay. Stack. 37 up and that's going to put 37 up right to the top okay and I think what I might do is I might do the same with the ice stack 37 up just like that so you've got your ice and you've got your dark oak wood blocks and if you're wondering what texture pack I'm using I am using my texture pack 
The link will be in the description down below. It's in alpha stages. And uh, let us and give us some feedback as well, what you think on it. Okay, now that we've got this, we need to come up by six blocks. And I'm just going to confirm that. So from the ground level, one, two, three, four, five, six on the seventh block. Okay, we'll grab our court stairs. So on the seventh block, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to come into the first block here and then just run that right across to the other side. And that's just going to give it a nice kind of barrier. The next size you want to come up is six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then come in. Like so, da -de da -de da -de da Then again, six. So there's the base, you come up by one block. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Come in by one, put that right across. Like that. And then again, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Come in, place that there. Until we get six apartments, guys. We're gonna do the same thing over and over again. And another six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put that there for a second. There we go, that's right. Here, right across. And we're not gonna bother doing the rest at the top. So from the bottom, you should have six, one, two, three, four, five, and then you've got the sixth one up here because we've got to do something completely different, okay? So what we've got to do is I'm going to take these off. Must have gone a bit too high there. Like that. Beautiful, and take off this one. And what we're going to do now is we're going to grab the snow and we're just going to bring that right across to the other side and close that off here. Okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. Loving it. What have I done up here? What have I done up here? Oh, that's right. That is right. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. I'm I'm up to it. I'm up to it. Lovely. Right. Now that everything is now level on the top, we've got our six apartments. We can start working on the top here. So what you want to do is take out this line of blocks this line of ice and then we're just going to run through more snow on the top just the top here okay um, because what we're going to do is we're going to layer some stone blocks and I'm going to use where is it these stone stone brick slabs because it looks like a footpath and we're just going to run that right across okay just like that, because that's going to be the roof that we're going to put in all the detail on the ceiling, on the roof and whatnot. So we're just going to bring that all across, like so. And here. I mean, doesn't that look like a footpath? Beautiful. Okay, so now what we can do is we can actually go and filter that all the way to the end, which will be to here. That, and it is 44.5 set 44 colon 5 close that off go all the way out to the front and come up again so you've got that sort of effect okay and two in from the front what you do now is grab your quartz stairs and you're going to flip them upside down and you're just going to run a nice uh, edge to the actual build just like that all right, just to tidy it off, make it look a bit more neat and tidy. Um, now, let's go all the way down the bottom, back inside, and we're going to have to put our flooring in. Now, the flooring that I'm going to use in this one is my birchwood planks. You'll see why I'm going to use that. It's one of the best blocks that I've got in the, in the actual texture pack, if I can find it. There we go. It's got a very natural um, color to it and a feel. I mean, look how natural that looks. Beautiful. And you can actually just dig that out as well. So you can actually lead up to going outside. And we'll just pop that in there and we'll just do some world edit as well. That is five colon two. So from this point all the way down to the end is a nice five colon two. 
set five colon two. Voila. I mean, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful flooring for a house, I have to say. What's that? Beautiful. Um, right, next step, we can grab our snow. And whatever texture you want to use, really, if you want to use a different kind of texture um, on the outside, we can just grab the flooring. That can be the ceiling color as well. Just fill that all the way into the glass. And there's your first roof. Okay, and uh, what we can do as well, uh, we could, what could we do? Could we do that? No, we're going to use that. Filter that all the way through. Nice flooring. Clickety click click, really quick. Look at that. How beautiful is that starting to look? And pretty much you're going to do the same again. So. Let's grab the snow and filter all these in. So just do all that real quick. La di da di da. Into there. And here as well. Beautiful. Two more. Right across. And I'll just tie it off neat and tidy. I think I think this will look really good in a modern city. Especially if you're doing townhouses, a line of townhouses, all different kinds. This would look really nice next to it. Uh, what we do then is we just continue the actual flow of the lines and separation of the different apartments. Just by doing that and here as well. And I'll just leave that open and whatnot. Now what we've got to do now guys is we've got to go and grab our glass and we'll just filter that through again. So just bring that right to the edge. Just like that and again here. It's very simple townhouses. I mean, they're very easy to build because all it is is just repeating one level and then you can get away with the whole let's build. So that's what I thought. I'd do something very easy for you guys. I mean, look at that. Look how effective that looks already. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm not going to bother putting the actual carpet on because it will just take too long to click on and click off all the time. However, I am going to go and grab my dark oak wood um, slabs. And we can actually put in some grooves. Now, there is no particular pattern, guys. It is up to you what you want. On this one, however, I just chose a three pattern. So coming up, out, in, out, in, you know, and, and so on. But you can make all different kinds of patterns. Uh, you could even use stairs if you really wanted to. So I'm just going to pop out these two. And let's see, maybe these two. And just do that all the way up. Up to you. It's really, I'll just do a simple one here, just like that. But you can make patterns and, and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Actually, we could go three. Three in width. One, two, three. We could do it like that, actually. That looks pretty cool. Beautiful. Never thought of that one. Just like that. All the way to the top. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Just fill it in with slabs. And as I said, if you use the stairs, you'd have that. You wouldn't have the see-through on the inside. One, two, three, one, two, three. Up again, one, two, three. Fill that in. One, two, three. Right like that. Okay, so we've got that sort of pattern compared to this one. That looks pretty snazzy. Now down the bottom as well, what you want to do is grab your um, stone brick slabs again and then come out by two. So one, two, and this is just going to symbolize a footpath or a walkway that people have. It's the closest I wanted to get to a, like a real life footpath, especially for like skate parks uh, and stuff like that. Now you can put extra detail on these as well. You can grab some um, stone buttons or wooden buttons and pop them either side just for extra detail, you know, just to jazz it up just a little bit uh, in the center pieces. Oh, wrong spot. 
wrong spot we've got to put it in the right spot z come on there and there and there and there look at that that's already adding some extra texture on it as well now on the inside as well what you can do is grab some cobblestone wall now my cobblestone wall looks like brick so you just grab that and bring that up if you really wanted to take up these ones and just run that all the way up just to give it some more you know, sturdiness. Lovely, jubbly. Bring that all the way up to the top. Here, here. Take that one out. In here. And to there. So that just gives another kind of texture to look at as well. Now, in inside, there is there's a few things you can do. I mean... If you want me to do an interior tutorial, let us know. But you can put windows in like that. I say come in, judging from the height of the actual level. What am I doing with buttons? With the height of the level of the roof and the ceiling. Bring that to the top. That is the size of the windows that you want. So one, two, three by two. That will give it a plenty of plenty of uh, light to come in especially if you want to put lights in and the best glass to use for this will be a dark black or a dark gray just for people will not be able to see in and it gives it a nice kind of dark texture and shade to it so you just do that all the way through and it's only on one side okay so if we just bring that across again Right across, right across, right to the end. Come down one, two, three, four, five, six. Come back here one, two, three, four, five, six. And just once again, easy, rinse and repeat. Just grab the same stuff as from down below and pop in your windows. See how easy a, a townhouse is? Very, very simple build. Don't need to think with this one. You just put up four walls and that's it. Okay, so now we've got that happening. Now, once again, there is no particular way how to do the stairwell. I did mine is of two. You can do by three. And you can place your doors any way you want. So, once again, is come back with your snow. And in line with the actual um, footpath, Put like that so if you want to do three or two stairs four stairs in width and just run that all the way back to the other side click 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 and close it off and then bring it up to the same height again all the way to the top easy she does it there we go and we can just close that off from here to the bottom set 80 and we'll do the same again on the other side as i said like there's so much you can actually do with this kind of build it's very plain it's very simple but very effective so that's what i've gone and done and i've just filtered the slabs right across okay then inside i've put um sn uh, snow i've done ice so I put ice all the way across except for the doorway. So I'm just going to filter that through because I've used slabs like that. One, two. Yep. And bring that to there. Up and over. Just enough for a doorway. Okay. And then I've run the glass or the snow. Or, why do I keep saying that? Fucking hell. Bring the ice all the way to the top. One below. And then, once again, back down again, just like that. Right till we get to the size of the door. Here and here, just like that. And then I think I've, yes, I have, I have. I've carried through this right through and flipped that upside down. So it gives you that sort of beautiful kind of indentation on the windows. Just like that, 
and then just pretty much mimic everything that you've already pre-built like that that and uh yeah that's it and you put one put one let's see bring that right across here and here just like that and then close that off on the inside with slabs so we put that filter that through and then do the same again with slabs and that can be your interior as well now it's up to you where you want to actually put your doors in your apartment there is no particular way to do it you can put it whatever way you want I put mine on all different different levels for instance I put one door here one door over this side one door over this side over here and it, it didn't match up 100% which is good because that gives it a nice originality to different kind of style of apartments but that's what it's going to look like and then you can add your buttons down the side and whatnot now along here along the top I used quartz slabs and brought them right across to the other side and that gives it that extra kind of peak from left to right as you see just like that so you can have this right on a beachfront it could be really tall you could actually add on a double one and mirror image this so the stairwell will be on the right hand side i think it will look really good guys really really good so if you wanted to design the interior um, what i would probably do is separate it i'd probably they've got a window there and that could be nice for the bathroom so i'd probably bring that out right across and if i grab some glowstone and pop that through just pop that there and there there um you could bring that through like so and separate it right down the center so we could bring that through okay and then you could use this room here for a kitchen or this room for a kitchen like so and you can open that up double and use this as your bathroom shower toilet and uh your full-on bathroom and right here depending where you want the door i mean obviously the door will probably be you know, right here or something like that leading into the stairwell you could actually put your you know bed oh, let's see let's grab a different color block for you guys to see um grab a red grab your bed and just pop that across there like so la -dee -da, -dee da la -dee -da, -dee da and la -dee -da, -dee da put your bed there or something like that with a nice big plasma TV up here and uh, you know like little table and chairs here I don't know if you guys want me to do an interior for this kind of um, build I will do six different interiors for six different levels let us know in the comments down below guys and I will do that for you guys I'll leave that as is um, on the other build over here that I've done, I've done a small interior for one of them, I think. Oh, here we go. And, uh, this is what I come up with. Right next to the window, I've got a decent sized bed with a nice little backing to it. Inside here, I've got a big style open kitchen. And don't worry about these nulls because I went from 1.8. Some shelving, just basic stuff. And, um, yeah. You got your cookers, range hood shelving, leading out to an apartment stairwell, which you can put like flowers and, and chairs and whatnot, and then leading out to the apartment, looking over to the skate shed. Easy does it, man. Easy does it. And that is it. That is it, guys. That is the dual dual build. That is the let's build um, for the apartment townhouse. So there you go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to shoot off now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, be sure to leave a like, place a comment down below. Let me know for some ideas. If you want me to do interiors, any more of these kind of um, townhouses, let us know. All feedback is most graciously needed. Thank you once again. I'm Zyrus HD signing off. Until next time, I'll see you guys on the next video.